check it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from My Closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We talk about layering combos like we're doing in today's video. Welcome to our very first Layer Your Scents Thursday. We are going to be doing a video Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays with a wild card Wednesday uh, when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or topic we are going to cover next. Um, we are still going to continue with trying to stick to one fragrance house or topic at a time even th even though we're only doing the three videos we are gonna talk about just the one house so we have been on the topic of genre perfume so we're not done we're not done <laughs> we'll have today's video is layer your scent thursday and we are featuring raspberry today i have found the raspberry of my dreams Oh my goodness, I am so close to finishing this 5ml sample. Look at this. It's almost completely gone. I've been experimenting with it, wearing it, enjoying it. This is a compliment getter. I hardly ever say that, but I mean, people sm will smell you and they will tell you, you smell good. <laughs> this is a, such a great, great fragrance. So first thing I want to do, go over the fragrance because I did wear it on its own before I layered away. And, and then we'll get into the layering combos that I did try out and a couple of suggestions other suggestions to layer with genre perfumes essence if you're not familiar with genre perfumes they are an, an independently owned company in the description bar I will continue to list the link that will lead you to the first video that explains everything going on here with genre perfumes how to order the fragrances and a little backstory to the house so genre essence this was released in the year 2020 it is a unisex fragrance uh, a lot of people will argue that it leans uh slightly feminine because of this juicy juicy raspberry tone that it has to it and um i think it's unisex i think anyone who wants to smell a little bit of raspberry on them um can rock this i don't see why not and it also has a lovely woody tone so it's like a woody strawberry a little bit in the dry down so um this will go great for all seasons and when i go over the layering you're gonna see that you can either cozy it up or you can freshen it up um i think that this will also add some backbone to a lot of those lighter fragrances that have raspberry in them that you're just like they just disappear and you're a little bit disappointed. Um, I cannot wait to get into the Leary. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm excited for this one. Um, you know, I love when something just works and that is what Essence does. It just works <laughs> and it smells so good. In the notes we have top notes of Mandarin, Bergamot and Raspberry. In the mid we have Jasmine, Rose and Caramel Accord. In the base, saffron, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, amber, and white musk. Now, this saffron that is in this fragrance is not the type that goes the spicy route. I found no spicy undertone to this whatsoever. I did find a little woody undertone. Oh, by the way, it's not on skin any longer, but it is still enveloped here on my clothes what i wore it with today oh definitely still here <laughs> it's it's um on the skin i would say it goes a good 10 hours i mean it goes it tapers down around the eighth hour but it really does last all day and the dry down is this soft woody tone but still holding on to to a lovely little candied raspberry uh, the opening is just so juicy, fruits, mouth-watering, smells a little champagne-like as well. There's something in there that's maybe even green that I can detect, like the strawberry is still on the, on the vine. Oh, 
I don't know. It's just so good. The raspberry is so, so evident. After the citrus starts to settle down a little bit, all your the raspberry just continues to bloom. I mean, this raspberry blooms and it is so enjoyable. Yes, it's the star. The raspberry is the star of this show and it sticks throughout the entire wear. I cannot, I just cannot stress how juicy, how wonderful this tone, um, this raspberry tone we got going on in here. This is literally what I've been looking for and I've had it in my possession for an entire year. The sample, never worn it. On paper when I sprayed uh, this sample, I got um, like frosted cranberry, if you've ever smelled that from Bath and Body Works. So I, I immediately thought, oh, this is going to be nice for, let's say, um, the home. That is what I've always scented my home with is cranberry. I got cranberry rocking right now in the living room. And actually, John and Perfumes does have, I believe, on their website, I'm not sure, do not quote me, but they might still have candles. I think they look a little different than this, they have like a wooden top, but I have the Essence Candle because like I said, I loved it for the home. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I just, I never gave it the chance. I never put it on myself, you know? So, oh, that is such a good candle. <laughs> um, So, I'm, I cannot believe I've had this for an entire year thinking that it was more of a home scent than a personal, you know, apply it to yourself type scent. Oh my gosh. I've been missing out on the best raspberry. Just a, a great candied dry down with this lovely benzoin with woods as well. And and it's so enjoyable. It's palpable. <laughs> it's it's a true, true gem of a fragrance. I mean, I have 50 mLs. I ordered the biggest bottle that genre carries. I did order it off their Etsy site, so I did not wait for the ordering window. I said, I need this. I need this now. <laughs> I I honestly cannot envision myself wearing a, if it has even a hint of strawberry, of strawberry, of raspberry, I want to, I want to pick that out with this. I want to layer essence with all of my raspberry tone fragrances. But for the interest of time and for this video, we will definitely not talk about every single raspberry in the collection. I have here one, two, three that I got to personally wear test on my body, on my person, and then one combo that I did at nighttime. And, um, and then what else can work with this? I mean, this is such a great fragrance. Yes, okay. If you are into layering combos, this beauty stands alone. It stands great on its own two legs. You do not need to layer this for longevity, for strength, for enjoyability. I'm not saying that at all. It's just one of those fragrances that I want to add to so many things. <laughs> I already mentioned. So uh, my first layering combo with Genre Perfumes Essence was uh, on one side I did. I did a base of Autumn Drive. Autumn Drive from Bath & Body Works. This has wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. So it has a, a vanilla, same as Essence, and it has a little woody tone with the birch, and of course, the raspberry. This went seamlessly. It went so beautifully as a base. Then on my left side, I went with Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. Now this doesn't actually have strawberry, uh, raspberry in it, but I have always thought, you know, maybe just because of the color of the bottle that it's just so berry-esque in its opening. I get a, I get a berry tone, even though there's no berry, there's peach. This has peach in the opening. It has vine and orchid and some vanilla bean. Not a lot going on here, but it is a very enjoyable fragrance. If you want it to be a little warmer, the essence, if you want to warm it up, you can warm it up with something like this. Very nice. Now, um, and of course, lasted all day, was so enjoyable, my goodness. On the right side, I applied YSL's Mon Paris. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to have found something that will help me enjoy this scent longer. I've always, I was so hesitant to buying this. I only bought it because it was on sale when I did purchase this full little bottle. And... And I've always been so disappointed in its performance. I love the smell of it. This is a very spring type fragrance. This is 
Oh, this has got strawberry, raspberry, pear. It's got orange, tangerine, and bergamot. We have jasmine, peony, orange blossom, vanilla, and broxen, and cedar. And then this uh, forbidden flower or poisonous flower called datura. So I thought that was so interesting. Does not last more than a couple hours on skin. It lasted when I wore it with Genre Perfumes Essence. It combined wonderfully. I did wear it also with the Autumn Drive. Yes, this will be perfect for springtime, a brunch, a picnic, you know, a stroll down, some shopping. Very easy go to grab. This is nice. Is it enjoyable on its own for me? No. <laughs> Do I love the scent of it? Yes. Did Essence by Genre Perfumes save YSL? mon Prix for me yes that is the beauty that is the beauty when you combine things and they're more they're more affordable they're more enjoyable for you that is this is a great combo um now i do have ysl mon Prix intense mint i did read up on reviews saying that it ha it was a, i haven't tried it yet but it was a little more rose a lot more rose forward actually so I, I'm I want to do a head-to-head -head wear test so we'll save that for a side-by-side -side Saturday video okay you guys that was that was that very very extremely enjoyable for today this is how I wore my genre essence I went ahead here's another fragrance that doesn't have the best longevity on skin you do have to over spray this on your clothes in order to get a nice scent bubble going but once you get it going i mean it sticks to you i wear this overnight mainly this is juliet has a gun mm, released in 2016 raspberry geranium and neroli oh we have two rose iris orange blossom so good vanilla caramel sandalwood heliotrope white musk and patchouli this is a gem of a fragrance i reviewed it during our gourmand and vanilla week and i just i fell in love one day moseying around here in the closet sprayed a little sample and it was over i was looking for a full bottle <laughs> so comforting uh, a lot of people just have very bad reviews for this because of the the strength this is a a toned down fragrance it's not too it's not crazy strong but it was extremely enjoyable uh, for me today i mean enjoyable <laughs> uh, we have delicia de marshmallow that i did apply at nighttime actually i'm jumping the gun for today went ahead and applied dream bright <laughs> Oh, and it it goes wonderful with the Delicia. Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. Dream Bright. This is uh, one of the newer ones by Bath & Body Works. Yes. This is all I got. I had a free coupon, and I decided I wasn't going to go big. <laughs> I did not go big or go home I, like I usually do. I just... I, 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 I went the minimalist route. <laughs> um, I really am enjoying this, though. These sapphire berries uh, smell very reminiscent to a couple of other berry toned Bath and Body Works, you know, fragrances. But what set this uh, sets this aside is that orchid and, of course, the vanilla. Now, so I wore Dream Bright today with the Juliet Has a Gun. Topped it off with my essence. Actually, I I put the essence first because it's the stronger fragrance, and topped it off with my Juliet Has a Gun. Everywhere, beautiful raspberry i got whiffs of orange blossom throughout the day oh my gosh that woodiness that that just mouth-watering ripe raspberry coming from the essence it was a cooler day today in the 60s so it this was perfect perfect <laughs> oh so perfect i i enjoyed this to the fullest i mean if you can't tell already i completely enjoyed this scent now i i was it was I was gonna do a side by side today and wear another fragrance, but I decided against it because uh, I really wanted to see if the Juliet had a gun would stick around, and it went a good. Well, I just sprayed essence over here. It went a good eight hours, honestly, on skin, and everywhere else I still have it. So <laughs> it went the distance. The Juliet has a gun mm, with Genre Perfumes Essence saved another very light fragrance. Okay, so what I was going to wear was Victoria's Secret Tease Candy Noir. 
here we are. And this has a raspberry glaze to it. It has night blooming iris and warm tonka. And um, this would go so lovely with genre perfumes essence not too expensive um you know you won't break the bank with this and it'll be it'll be wonderful victoria sees tease candy noir on the same route with victoria's secret you could also wear scandalous if you have scandalous this one has in it raspberry peony and praline what else does it have i think that's it that i saw so this one has a nice raspberry um little opening as well that you can accentuate with genre's essence oh yeah you could definitely accentuate that here now these smell to me well the tease candy noir does not smell grown upish, but the scandalous does the scandalous smells more perfumey to me if you will all right so that was that now if you want to highlight hone in on the benzoin in essence i i really enjoyed this when i wore it this is la vie belle intensement not the original the intensement oh my gosh it has this candy benzoin just wonderful this has raspberry pink pepper bergamot heliotrope orange blossom jasmine sambach vanilla iris benzoin patchouli and sandalwood again this is has a little bit of that patchouli does come through like the original but it's toned down and the candied benzoin raspberry tone is is definitely there you can sense it and with genre's essence i feel like this will elevate this fragrance because it can get a little bit like once we reach the benzoin candied feel it can get to that smell of about three or four other fragrances that I can think of that I own. So to set it apart, you know, to just uh, make it unique, make it your own, I would go with the genre essence. <laughs> yes, I would. That is how I'm going to, I'm telling you, I don't think I can picture myself wearing a raspberry that I have in the collection, or even this would go beautiful. Raspberry would combine wonderful with your strawberry, with your blackberry, with your red berries. Any of that is going to go wonderful, which is why I ordered the biggest bottle they had. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, so that was it for that as far as, you know, what I would wear during the day. Now for nighttime, one day I decided, oh, let me try a little combination for nighttime. I did. Now now I can bring out, I did Delicia de Marshmallow's Body Butter. Oh, yes, I did. I did the Delicia de Marshmallow Body Butter. This is straight up marshmallow creamy goodness this is so good <laughs> and it's got a wonderful um i would say that this is a heavier um like a greasier type of body butter like you can you can feel the the, the oils in here oh but they're so good they smell beautiful and i went ahead and applied this i applied my genre essence and I topped it off with Nebras. Oh, what a cozy, wonderful bedtime fragrance this was. This has red berries and mandarin orange in the top, but you, I cannot detect the red berries. I mean, I, so genre's essence just pulled those right out of this fragrance for me. And, and then it was its usual cozy, uh, a coconut ice cream type wonderful mouth-watering comforting scent oh. in the same fashion um i think that and i i didn't bring it but i have two because i fell in love with this <laughs> i have these this is sweet tooth by sabrina carpenter i do have a full review i also i almost did this instead of nebras but i decided to go with nebras but it would definitely also jive with this uh, there's no berries in here, so um, I wouldn't be pulling any berries out. I would just be adding berries to this, and it would truly work, especially for a cozy bedtime scent. Okay, guys, um, that was it for how you know what I actually got to wear, test, and experiment with. There are there is plenty more that I did not get to try out. And I do have some suggestions of some lighter fragrances that I feel could really, really benefit from uh, the combination of adding the genre essence. This is such a gem. I'm telling you, 
oh, we're gonna be highlighting these gems on Thursdays for our layering videos because they just deserve, you know, this this recognition. <laughs> First one, I truly think that it could save the longevity for this and the enjoyability of Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. Oh my goodness. Because this smells so mouthwatering with those berries as well. And it's got some, the apple, of course. Oh, but adding these berries to this, yes. Yes, I want to wear this with genre essence. Um, this one does not have a longevity issue for me, but I think it would be so enjoyable to add genre essence to this. And this is Victoria's Secret Tea's Sugar Floor. It would go so nice, so nice. Um, to all of these, I would just absolutely have a ball choosing my lotion. <laughs> There's so many lotions to choose from for this. So many lotions. All right, lighter fragrances. I cannot say that VIP Private Show by Britney Spears is not a go the distance type fragrance, but I can say that it um, would benefit from this, uh, this, these, it would make it smell even more, um, give it like a niche quality type feel, I feel, if you add the genre essence to these. So these are just your simple but wonderful fragrances your sweet like candy by ariana grande and your adi as well if you have these just lying around you guys um just to try this by genre essence is i mean by genre perfumes it's four dollars for the sample you you cannot go wrong try it get a sample when it's the ordering window or actually this is available on the etsy website try it out if you have anything in your collection that you feel needs some umph needs a little woody back tone needs needs um you know you want to bring out the strawberry that's what we've done here basically um today with genre essence yes we did it <laughs> i i feel like i've been talking for two hours um really exciting this scent and i'm so so happy um to have discovered this even though i waited an entire year i mean it, it's here it's here now and i do not want to let go this is a gem of a fragrance Devin, uh you know from from uh, genre perfumes yes good job <laughs> i love this this is amazing all right guys that was it for today as if it as if it wasn't enough i I don't know, I, I didn't even count the suggestions. We had quite a bit today. Um, so yeah, you guys, if you would love to, for me to highlight a fragrance for you, um, to, to, to feature on our Layer Away or Layer Your Scents Thursday, let me know. Um, I'll probably run some polls maybe um, because the next house that I'm going to feature, I would love to, you know, layer with those scents, but I can always change it up. No problem. This is our channel. <laughs> um, so next video uploading on Saturday will be a side by side Saturday video. So we're going to be comparing two different fragrances uh, here with genre perfumes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night or your evening and you stay safe.